So here we go. So if you see something that looks like this, it means take f of x and g of x and add them. Take if you see with a subtraction, subtract them, multiply them, divide them. When we get to the division one, you are going to have to do a, a restriction and we'll talk about the restriction. So here's our example. Here are two functions. In the very first example, we're going to add them. It's going to say find f plus g of x. What that means is we're going to take f, x squared plus 5x minus 2, and we're going to add g of x, which is 3x minus 2. Put them in the parentheses. It will really help when you go to subtract and multiply. So what we're going to do now is exactly that. We're going to combine like terms. Is there an x squared anywhere else in the problem? Is there an x squared? No. So x squared stays alone. Is there something with just an x? So 5x plus 3x is Then negative 2 plus negative 2, that's our answer. What questions do you have? So I, I'm just taking the two functions and combining like terms when it says adding. minus. Very important, again, x squared plus 5x minus 2 minus, there's a minus now, 3x minus 2. You need to make sure that minus is there. It looks like a dash, sorry. These are where I'm getting these functions is from here. You'll get two tonight and you'll do this. So we're gonna subtract. X squared minus, is there anything with X squared? So we're gonna write X squared. 5X minus 3X. Positive 2X. Negative 2 minus negative 2. Negative 2 minus negative 2? Zero. 0. So this is my answer. Any questions so far? Now, this means f times g. <coughs> x squared plus 5x minus 2. Notice that every single time I have put the function in parentheses, that's what you need to do. And it means we're going to multiply it by 3x minus 2. So we did this in the last unit where we actually are going to multiply. So we're going to do x squared times 3x. What is x squared times 3x? 3x to the third. I'm going to do x squared times negative 2. I'm multiplying. So what is x squared times negative 2? Negative 2x squared. Now we're going to do 5x times 3x. So I'm doing 5x times 3x, 15x squared. I'm going to do 5x times negative 2. I'm going to run out of room. 
negative 2 times 3x. I knew it. And negative 2 times negative 2. Positive 4. And now we need to combine like terms. So again, you guys, you I added the 2. I subtracted the 2. Now I multiplied the 2. And because I after I multiply them, you still have to combine like terms. There is no like term with 3x to the third, so I'm just going to write 3x to the third. <coughs> Negative 2x squared plus 15x squared. Positive 13x squared. Negative 10x and negative 6x. Negative 16x, and there's no const there, the only constant term is 4. So I'm going to put plus 4, and then this is my answer. Now, you guys, they could change the order. They could change the order and put G plus F g minus f, g times f. <coughs> so just make sure you're paying attention to how they want you to do it. So what is f of x? And what's g of x? Okay. Now, that is your answer for the division problem. We can't cancel anything out. Tonight, you won't be able to. However, because there is an x in the denominator of the fraction, because there is an x in the denominator of the fraction, we have to find the restriction. And to find the restriction, we're going to set the denominator equal to 0. So one or two things are going to happen tonight. You're either just going to flat out solve it, set it equal to zero, or you're going to have to factor it, okay? So a restriction is because the denominator of any fraction can't equal zero, so I'm going to find my restriction. So I'm going to take the denominator and set it equal to zero. When I get a restriction, when I get this x, what it's saying is x can be anything except this number. If x is this number, then this function would be undefined and we can't have an undefined variable. So what we say is our restriction or our limitation is x cannot equal 2 thirds. So this whole thing is actually your answer.